Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will see how to add the ESLint in the React.js project. In the previous video, we have seen how to add the ESLint in the Angular projects we have seen and also we have learned about the file structure also. And in this video, we will see about how to add this ESLint in the React.js. Now in order to create a React project, what we need to do? So we have a command npx create react app something like uh, you can give the project name something like react project now let's try to create this one npx create react app just like in the angular 12 how we are not getting any eslint or any linting configuration in the same scenario react also doesn't get any linting configuration by default so we need to configure the linting let's see now so we have pressed the enter so it, it will ask you some series of questions so creating a new react oh, okay so it's creating yeah it's creating everything Now the project has been created. Let's go into the project cd react hyphen project. Okay, let's open this one in the Visual Studio Code. I am opening this one in the Visual Studio Code. Now here, if you try to see, there is no ESLint RC JSON file. The configuration file is not present in the React project by default. And if you go to the package.json also, so there will be no command regarding this. Uh, what we can say linting. So you, here you'll be able, not able to see any lint. In Angular, we are able to see ng lint as a default one so which we will get is a TSLint prior to Angular 12 projects. Now here we want to configure the ESLint in the React project. So how we can configure is let's go and we already know that ESLint hyphen hyphen init. So initialize the ESLint in the React project. So it will ask you some series of questions. Just answer those questions you already know. So we have gone through the thing. So what would you like to use in the ESLint? So to check syntax problems and enforce code style. So we are using import export yeah in the react so which framework does your project use yeah it uses the react and does your pro project use typescript no and browser so you can if you want to use you can use a popular style gate like airbnb like that or otherwise we can answer the questions so json spaces single quotes unix yes that's it so now it will try to install the plugin that is nothing but eslint hyphen plugin hyphen react so this is the plugin so which will be supported for the react projects Okay, we uh, previously we used to have the Angular Builder, right? So in the same scenario, here we are having this ESLint plugin React. In the same scenario, Vue.js also will have the ESLint hyphen plugin hyphen view. Now it is taking, it, it is installing these all plugins. So ESLint is installing and also the ESLint plugin also it is installing. Now let's try to see here. So up to now is ESLint RC is not created. Let it take time to create. ESLint and the plugin is successfully created and also it has created the ESLint rc.json file also. Let's try to see that JSON file. What are the things involved in that JSON? Now here, if you try to see here, this browser is true. Yeah, it's ES2022 it is using. And it's extending the ESLint recommended rules. So that means all the ESLint recommended rules, it will, it will uh, follow. If you want, you can also use Airbnb like those things also. And also here, it is using the plugin React recommended. So in the same scenario, how we have done in the previously, plugin while creating a plugin. So the plugin also is having some recommended rules. So that is also we are using. And here you can use this ECMA features like JSX true. So we need to write the HTML inside the JS file, right? So there is a reason JSX true and the ECMA version is a 12, nothing but 2021. And the source type is module, it is nothing but importing thing. We are using import, right? In the React JS, that is the thing it is saying. And the plugins we want to import is the pl React plugin. In that React plugin only we are having the rules. And these are all the things are, uh, we already know. So these are the rules of what we have uh, given in the command prompt. So this simple, simple in the React JS, it's simple. Let's try to run this command. So what is the command we know that uh, we let's try to create in the package.json. If I go here and I will create something like lint and in this lint what I will try to do is eslint and what are the what are the fo folders I want to execute. So source file okay slash star star slash star.js okay. So this is the folder structure. So this is the folder we need to have the rules to be applied eslint rules. So these are the rules, right? So eslint star source slash star star slash star dot js. So let's save this one and uh, let's try to run this command npm run lint. Okay. If I go here and if I run npm run lint, let's see what it will execute. So I am trying to run the npm run lint. It is executing so eslint source star dot js. So it is taking the star dot js. That means all the js files present in this one. Here you will be able to see that indentation, some indentation has been go gone wrong. So let's try to fix it. So we have 32 errors can be fixed. So let's try to fix it. That means what we'll try to do here. We will try to have another command something like lint hyphen fix. Okay. 
sorry lint hyphen fix and here I can use the prefix hyphen hyphen fix I use the comma hopefully this one will be saved I think let's cancel this one yeah so linting es lint yeah lint hyphen fix hopefully this one is all correct let's try to use the command npm run lint hyphen fix so we are fixing the rules automatically uh, which were which could be solved by the ESLint. Let's try to see how many things will be solved. Here it is giving that 32 errors will be solved out of 41 problems it is saying. Let's see. And here we are able to see couple of errors. So that is nothing but it is saying that react must be in the scope and the test is not defined, expect is not defined, these are things. And before that here you are able to get that react version is not specified in the ESLint plugin react settings it is saying. Okay, so what we can do is so here I can do something like we can have extra key, some extra property that settings. So we need to mention the settings. So here settings react. So if you want to have the version, so we can tell that version just you take uh, you detect or take the latest. So whatever the version is there, take the latest. That's it. So we have we are giving the settings react and version is the latest. Let's assume. And now or otherwise we can use detect so automatically you detect you detect detect also you can give okay now let's try to run whether this command whether this uh, warning will go away or not so i'm trying to do the lint hyphen fix everything anything is okay now one thing is warning has gone away now we are able to see react must be in scope something like that is saying so you can do what you can do is so here it is asking something like react in jsx scope like so we don't have any JS and all those things. Okay, when using JSX, we can write something like in the rules. So take this rules React JSX and you can keep it as off or zero. Whatever the thing you want, you can use it. And here, let's try to see. And we have saved this one. Let's try to run the command again. So now these all commands, these all what we can say, these all problems should go away. Let's see what, how many problems we can get again. Yeah, so we got we got uh, the things has been solved. Now we are getting test and expect. These are coming from the ap.test.app.test.js. So that means it is a test file. So we can uh, assume that. So now we are using the test here just right. So we can use something like just true. Okay. So we can keep it as just true. So that all the global something like test, expect and all those things will come. So we can do npm run lint type and fix. And here successfully we have uh, cleared all the errors so now Re uh, react js project is successfully running the linting so we have changed some configuration successfully it is running so now what i will try to do is in app.js let's try to create some errors in the app.js what i will try to do here i will try to write the class here i will try to write the class instead of class name let's try to see whether it will linting will tell any errors or not now here i will try to run only lint why because fix means it will all it will all, it will all it will fix that automatically so that is the reason i am try, trying to run the lint so that we can see the error so whether it will tell the class uh, thing or not so we should write it as class name right instead of class so whether it will tell or not let's try to see success right so here able to see that unknown property class found but you we need to use the class name instead so now we need to use the if you want to use so here this error can be automatically fixed it seems so just try to run npm run lint hyphen fix okay if you if you try to run this one automatically the code what we have written here the class it will be renamed with the class name if it runs automatically so it will be renamed automatically oh let, let's try to run so it has fixed the error so now let's try to see here we are able to get the class name automatically see so this is how we will be creating the es lint linting in the react js project and the Vue js project automatically the linting will be applied to you if you want to uh, add it for a separate thing means you can use the es lint hyphen plugin hyphen view so i am not showing that uh, view thing demo in the in the next video so by this what we can say is so we have uh, did for all the major things angular we have did linting and also the react js also we have did the linting hope you understood about how to apply the linting for the most popular frameworks like angular and react if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel and also please do follow my facebook page and the uh, link is provided in the description below thank you